Hey there everyone, welcome back. Okay, moving on. We just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome. We do appreciate it. If you have subscribed, we just want to say thank you for that subscription. We really do appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, we just ask that you consider subscribing. When I mean, you're already here anyway, right? So just consider it. But um, so today's video is con is going to be linked to a previous video. Um, Julio and I. What? That hurts my jaw. Well, how long are you going to do it? <laughs> So uh, Julio and I, we recently uh, signed up for a meal plan kit. So it's through Dinnerly, and we've only received one uh, one week so far. So we are going to share with you guys tonight our first dinner from Dinnerly, and finally see what it tastes like. I'm very curious. I've been waiting for this for a while because the first week we received it. Um, two days later, we went we went on vacation. So. Now we're gonna enjoy it. We're everyone's winding down, so time for dinner. So let's go, guys. Let's make some food. So if you guys don't see us at our utmost best, what the hell? Samara. I was wondering what the hell that was. That's our daughter over there. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Is that why you did that? Yes. I was wondering, like, what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, that caught your dad's attention really quick. We're not gonna, well, no, not gonna cook the first box, but we're gonna cook one of the meals. One of the meals, yeah. The we're gonna box. cook one of the meals from the first box yeah. because each box comes with three meals no, inside. No, 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 no. So uh, the thing is that I chose, uh, I chose uh, three meals. So you could choose one, you could choose two, you could have the whole week, the uh, five meals, you know, whatever you want. You decide. So yeah, I, you can I figured, customize it. Or the weekends we have it. Um, uh, especially, uh, you know, to celebrate the end of the week that we go mm -hmm. out to yeah. eat, so nobody cooks and and we get to enjoy. So that's why I, that's why I figured, you know what, three is a nice compromise between mm -hmm. um, cooking and saving money and um, and eating good food. Yeah, well, yeah, and I, I agree, and of course it, it works for you know. Yeah, whatever you works do for what, you. Yeah, uh, you do what household. works for your household, yeah. and as the girls get older, we find that this is what works for our household. Because, and the only reason why we subscribe to this uh, dinnerly service is, and I'm actually kind of thankful that he did it. <laughs> well, it felt like a spider. But um, I'm actually kind of thankful that he did it because, you know, for like for years, I was always having to come up with like new ideas for dinners. And it's just like over time, they kind of became repetitive. You get into a rut. You yeah, get into, they were pretty you get into repetitive. A dinner so. and this is a true story for reals. Like when we first moved out, um, I'm not trying to pass. I don't or quite remember this though. Okay, he well, is, I don't know. Well, I don't look, know. one doesn't get a I belly such as mine without no, not knowing how to cook. But what we made when we first moved out, and I thought it was the, I was the, you know, the the man chef of all chefs. Yeah, <laughs> what we ate pretty much all the time, what, and it was cheap, and we liked it was macaroni and cheese with mass with mashed potatoes. See, and that's why I don't know about that because I'm not a big fan of mashed potatoes. So no, I don't know. And, and we would we would cook it all the time, and that's that's what we would make. And we're like, oh yeah, that's what we. Eat. But I mean, now it's just like, yeah. But uh, and then Chrissy, um, at that time, um, how do, how do, I honestly think I was like every young girl when they first move in with and their, I'm not their guys. Anything. You know, and I'm not saying anything, boyfriend. but it's like, and you don't. But know it's like how I have to, to cook. I have to teach this lady right here oh, how to you cook. You didn't teach me nothing. Really. But, uh, then what about all the times that you burned the water? Burned the water. <laughs> no, I know you're lying. Um, but uh, no, I mean, it was just trial and error, you know? And, and actually, as trial a matter of error, fact... Trial and error and lots, of, and lots no, of burnt dinners. As a matter of fact, I think the only person that I will say that I would go to a lot was his mother. Mm -hmm. I would go to my mother-in-law and I would ask yeah, but, her questions and I would pick yeah, her brain but what just is to it? try to see because okay. she would get in the kitchen okay, and she but would how like, did that, throw all did, these things together I know, and I'm like, but how, how did that come that about? Don't, don't leave that part out. How did that come about? I don't remember. You remember? She was like, Chrissy, come here. He's like, I'm going to show you something. And you're like, oh. <laughs> but you ended up learning something. So. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I can't say that first time. I probably was just like, what's the point? But thereafter, I actually enjoyed it. And so 
you know, seeing what she, or seeing how my mother-in-law would cook and the ingredients and how much, it just kind of stuck with me, you know? So then that's how I was like, okay, well, this is, I can do this or that because she would just get in the kitchen and whatever she had in the kitchen, she would make a meal out of it. Now me, I needed like, <laughs> like some stone cold proof like okay you take your ground beef you take your your hamburger helper put it together you make it i no, could not just Chris take hamburger i couldn't Chris's take the ground of, beef or Chris's the turkey way of cooking was and a, make a meal out of that like you come up with something so your way of your your idea of cooking was was frozen burritos and cup of noodles it's just like <laughs> bon appetit but anyway don't listen to him All right, now that we put everything away, we have tonight's ingredients, uh, dinner's ingredients out, and this is what we're working with. So this is what we're gonna be making. We've got the steak, or the ranch steaks. Our spices are pastrami spice. We have red onion, we have a lemon, and we have one pound of broccoli, and we're using um, olive oil and, and butter. butter. And by, butter. The way, by the way, if in case, if in case the, the things look a little bit funkadelic, it's not so much from them, it's just that recently, uh, we ended up uh, leaving for a for yeah, trip. Yeah, that's what I was, I, so I did start the video off saying that to everyone. Okay. Um, we received this, the, our first shipment came last on, Monday. Yeah, on Monday. And then um, Wednesday, we went on a little vacation. So everything pretty much sat until we got home, which is today, And Monday. then now we're getting the other box. Yeah, so. we got the other box. So, so yeah, yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to hurry up because yeah you know, uh, we don't want it to go bad. So that's why some of them like, might look a little, like the vegetables might not look so good, but- um, But it's, it, it was because- It should be okay. Sitting. Yeah. One thing though that, I, that I'm that i already not liking is, me, I don't like cooking with the oven. I hate using the oven because it just makes the place just so darn hot and I just hate, in my opinion, it sh everything should be stovetop. I hate having to use the oven. Okay, so what do you need me to do? Okay. So preheat the oven, right? So yeah, preheat the oven to 450. Okay, so from this point on, I'm gonna put you guys on a hyperlapse. What I'll do is when I'm editing it, I will go ahead and put some some kind of instructions so you guys aren't completely left out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, okay? Are you ready to do this? Because you don't look so I'm not enthused, honestly, I'm not, I'm not enthused. <laughs> this was supposed to be like, make it easy and quick and I'm, I'm already turned off by this. Especially by that, stu by that stupid oven, yeah. Well, let's see. What if it comes out really good? And you really let's like let's it? see. But like I said, I'm still sticking. I'm still. There's gonna be three three thumbs, and right now it's already earned well deservedly a thumbs down. So let's see how it's let's it? see how it goes. Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna interject here because so far. And I burned myself. <laughs> Darn oil got me. It was like, it <laughs> the snake. Darn snake came up and bit me. It smells bomb. Like everything smells so freaking good, guys. So, right here, let me turn that off so you can hear me good. This is the onion with the broccoli. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's steaming. It's like it, it literally just came out of the oven. It's a big oh, you never shut this off. That smells really good, okay? So I'm telling you right now, I never would have thought to put red onion, purple onion, whatever you want to And something as simple as, uh, 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 yeah, as just... And there's the four steaks. Look at that. I can, like, just pepper and salt. That's all we're putting on the And olive oil? Oh yeah, and a little bit of olive oil in the pan. But it smells freaking delicious. And then when we are done, we're going to be putting lemon oil. zest. Yes. So, well, not, not really a glaze, but... Well, I find it's just a topping. It's butter with the... Lemon zest, lemon juice, and pastrami seasoning. So, yeah, so weird. Hey, whatever works. But what it says is that uh, after the steaks are done cooking, we're going to put them on the plate, uh, put it with the uh, the onion and the, and the, and the, and the broccoli, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put some of this on top, and it says to leave it resting for five minutes. Mm -hmm. I guess it kind of marinates, but... Still, it's not as easy as I thought. I thought it was just gonna be like bam, bam, bam. So both of us in the kitchen doing it. I okay. think it's good. I just teamwork, think so. I, okay. I think it's good teamwork, teamwork. But since this is the first time, we need to set up a not a, a routine. Yeah. A, um, thank you. A system. A system. a system. Because we're kind of like tripping all over each mm -hmm. other. And another thing we he need was to do. getting hangry. <laughs> and another thing we need to do is either put it on a tablet or something so we can all see it. Because right now, you guys notice we're looking on my phone and the darn phone keeps on turning off. Yeah, and so. I can't see that small. Like I, that's why I'm not even really reading it because that's just too tiny. And just I just want to show you everything is going to get used. So these lemons here, we use those to squeeze into the lemon. And the lemon zest. Yeah, we put lemon zest and lemon juice in there. And then this is kind of like a garnishment that you can still squeeze on your food, but you can eat it with your food. And that's not all we're having for dinner. Then we're going to serve it with this. I must say, Nothing sexier than a man in the kitchen cooking a meal. Am I right, ladies? Woo! Hey, I was, how does Saint Go exactly love love starts from the belly or love? Oh yeah, uh, love enters through the belly or something. Like that. Yeah. But thank you for getting me in the kitchen and talking. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for being my partner, mm. my partner in crime. Oh, ever, ever. Oh, ever, ever. And ever, ever. And ever, ever. All right, so let's see. So, I think it's too too early to call it. I'll still stick with the thumbs down. Let's see. I think okay, the, the I disagree. I, I mean, the prep work. No, it wasn't the prep work. What turned you off was the fact that everything was unorganized. Because he's the kind of person where he literally needs to have like an itinerary, itinerary plan on what he's gonna do. Yeah. And because it was thrown even, in the even, box, even when we go on trips, yeah. I need to know. What time we're getting up? Yeah. What we're doing? And, so I yeah. think that that's what turned him off. The fact that the instructions weren't included, he had to look at it on his phone. Um, everything was kind of just thrown into the box. You didn't know what went with what meal. You had to kind of like put it together. But to I me, I think that is ready. For me, I don't think it was bad. But I'm gonna let you guys go because dinner is almost done. We have everything done. Um, just come on, sorry. just to clarify, we did have you know we did add that salad. But I just wanted to point out, look at how that came out, you guys. I'm pretty impressed. It smells really, really delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Uh, we, Since we are a family of five, and the meal kit comes with uh, four uh, meals, what we did is one of the steaks, we cut it in half for Arisa and Natalia. Uh, Natalia, which works out perfect because Natalia is not really that big on meat. We were able to make it work because that was actually one piece. So I got one, Julio got one, Samara got one over there, and... And, and by Let's the way, in. Uh, no, but before anything, so I think the thing said, 
an hour to an hour and a half. Yes. How long how long do you think this whole cooking took? I, I think it was probably about an hour and a half. Like okay. No more so, than two. I'll take so I think they were they were kind of spot on. Yeah. Let's go ahead and dig in and we will give you guys a fair rating of what we think about our dinnerly meal. All right, so I'm gonna start with the broccoli. Mmm, oh my God. Is it good? That is good. Let me see the caramelized onions. Mm. Oh my God. So was it worth it? Okay, let me do the steak. With this lemon butter and with the seasoning and the lemon zest. Hmm. It's different. It's different. I almost want to say. Like a lemon fajitas? I don't know. Anyway, let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. All right, guys, I think that is going to be the end of the video. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells delicious. And if Julio likes it, then I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it too. Thank you guys for tuning in and cooking with us as we meal, not meal prep, but as we prepared our dinnerly meal for dinner. So uh, we will bring you guys along on the next boxes that we get. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe this is a service that we might end up liking. We don't know just yet, but hopefully it can be our dinner service. I know, so we can um, we can alternate as to what we eat, but I've talked about I've I've talked enough. I cooked enough. I need to eat now. So have I. So I don't know, Christine, if you might want to uh, put the steak in the microwave for a little bit. For me, it's perfect. I like my steak. Nice. It's rare. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, well we decided to pick up the camera after all the plates have been cleared because we wanted to give you guys that final, final, final decision on what we really thought about this meal. So we'll start with Julio first. So you guys see this face? Okay. I'll leave it at Chrissy. Chrissy, when I do this, what does that mean? That means that you're full and you had a really good meal and it was hearty. Am I right? And and Chris is completely right. And I remember, I, I, I know we keep on going like back and forth, but first date, no, not first date, but when we first were dating. <laughs> the first time, well, yeah, it was the Actually, first Actually, yeah, by the, the first, first date, date, after eating, I kept on going like, mm, I was like, <laughs> like almost like falling asleep. And Chrissy had a face like, yeah, okay, so he's like rolling all over the table and I'm looking at him like, okay, dude, you don't know me like that. I don't know you. You seem very comfortable with me and we just got together. But that's when I learned that when Julio eats a good meal and he's full, he gets tired like instantly and he's ready to go to sleep. And not only that, I, I for whatever reason, when I've had a good meal and I, and I get a little sleepy or whatever, Automatically, I start rubbing my face. I don't know what it is, but it's like an automatic thing. If there was a fly on the wall looking at me and Christine like when we're having that first day, I imagine how we would it look like me just. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like I've said it before, I don't mind making a fool out of myself, but yeah, I was real comfortable around Chrissy and yeah. Since day one. Yeah. And he was like really, really comfortable in front of me to do everything pretty much. Then like less than two weeks yeah. of knowing me, he was that comfortable. So I guess that's another topic. If you guys want to hear our love story, we'll be more than happy to put something together. But first, you guys can drop that in the comment section. And yeah, then we, yeah. yes, if you really wanted to know how we met and all that gushy stuff, then leave a comment and we'll put something together for you. But anyways, let's get back to the food. Okay, anyway. so we got your take. Away. No, we didn't. You yes, just, just got my face. <laughs> okay, so organization. It's uh, terrible. So, yeah, the organization of the, uh, of the ingredients. I'm sorry, there's no escaping. That's just terrible. Um, the, the prepping, I think we just needed to come up with a system because after, like when we kind of like 
started like, hang yeah, like, because yeah. at first I swear me and Chrissy were like, <laughs> like grinding gears, and after we're like, when we find each other's this mesh, is each other's mesh, like we're like, okay, so so that that I'll give like, uh, yeah, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as the taste, it was really good. It was like restaurant. Yeah, because I because. I'm not, I'll be, I'll be, you know, straight up with you guys. At the beginning, I didn't have high hopes because since it started like that, I was like, okay, what did we get ourselves into? <laughs> like, this is a complete mess. And um, yeah, like I said, as we're cooking and, and we started smelling all the them good smells, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, okay. And then I tried it, and at first, I'm not gonna deny it, it was a little strange because the the butter. It was butter with uh, pastrami seasoning, I've lemon never zest, heard of that. and lemon juice, yeah. and, and it just sounds like a mishmash with steaks. And at first, when I tried, it, I was like, "This tastes like a fajita with lemon." But but then with the broccoli and the and the mm -hmm. uh, and the onions, it, and then the salad we added too. Everything exactly, everything just meshed well together. Yeah, taste great. Prep, yeah, it's all right. I'll still with the meh for for the for the prep. But as far as uh, organization, that, that I, I'm sorry, but that there's gonna be something done to it. But I mean, maybe as we get used to it, maybe it won't be such a big deal. So now that we have Julio's um, opinion on it, I really want to give mine because I was completely impressed with it. I do agree with him. The organization of it was kind of that was terrible. I think that, that they could have done so much better. So dinnerly, you should have done better, and you should do better with prepping but there's got to be a better way to organize it however putting that aside i just think julio and i we have to find a system i think maybe when they when we take it out of the box we can put it into the refrigerator already together so there's no scrambling around like oh we need this or we need that and you know maybe he can have one task i can have one task and kind of go from there i don't think i really have to say anything every plate has pretty much been cleared off with the exception of Arisa's. But yeah, every single plate. I mean, yeah, and everybody honestly, ate everything. And honestly, to please the little ones is not an easy task, okay? Yes, it's really not. So for the for them to eat everything, that tells me that it was really good. And I'm actually like I want to keep it. I think yeah. we can make it work and replace how much we eat out by doing this. Yeah, because, because it pretty much equals out to what we're paying mm -hmm. for these three meals. So right now it's about 54 because uh, of course the introductory price and you get a discount, but it's 899 for shipping. So after the discounts, uh, so right now we got, we've got we gotten two boxes, two weeks. So uh, for our third one, I believe the price with shipping is gonna go about to 70 something, about $74. And we're thinking, okay, that's not a deal, but then we thought about this, which Christine has, is completely right. When we go out to eat, because if you guys notice, the girls no longer eat out of uh, out of the uh, the kids' meal. The kid meal. They, yeah. they eat regular meals, and since they are growing, they are going to eat a lot. So we usually one one meal going out, even to McDonald's, will be at least sixty, and if we splurge on something seventy or above. So if for seventy bucks we can get three yeah. night meals yeah. maybe it ain't too bad if i went some if i went somewhere and you and i tried this honestly i would have thought that this was a restaurant prepared meal because mm -hmm. it was actually good uh, it was something that i've never had but i was pleasantly surprised especially as we were all eating all of us were quiet all the <laughs> thing that we, i know we're all quiet the only thing would be like mm, oh my god <laughs> That's the only thing. Nobody said nothing because we were all invested in our plates. Mm -hmm. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So, by the way, we're gonna call this the Dinnerly Marathon. So we're gonna have, <laughs> and why do I call it the Dinnerly Marathon? Because we're gonna have six Dinnerly meals for six days straight. So let's see if we could do it. And at the end of the six days, we're gonna give you guys our honest opinion. Uh, so, heck, I mean, I mean, this will be the, this will be the ultimate test to see just how doable doing this dinner lead dinners, if it could be done. Uh, I know there's some other services that, that have it where the, it's already cooked and all you have to do is warm it up, but of course you can't compare we're paying for some for something dollars a meal versus uh, those ones that are cooked. If I'm mistaken, I think it's like 12 or $13 a meal. I mean, if you're gonna go and do that, you might as well go to a restaurant and have some waiter service and, and heck, get, get the whole experience if you're gonna do that. But 
yeah, I at first I was like, you know what? I might just not keep it. But after this taste, I'm pretty impressed. But having said that, I am not stuffed. But I am, I'm pretty content. I, I'm not stuffed, but I'm pretty content. I think that was a pretty good meal and it had a little bit of everything and all the flavors were there. So what, what was your take, Samira? What would you like about it? Or And the steak was really good. It tasted like popcorn. Popcorn? Mm -hmm. That from the butter? I don't know, but it was really good. Okay, Natty Yoon, what's your take? It was good. That's it? I didn't like the onions. You think you would try another dinnerly meal? Yes. Yeah? Okay. And then what about you, baby? It was good. It was good? What was your favorite part? The steak. The steak, yeah. The steak was really good. And the lemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lemon was good. <laughs> um, so, so, hold on. So, do you think you would give another, you would try another dinnerly meal? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that is our first dinner's opinion. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I think I might just upload these every day for the week. I'm gonna try my best. Don't hold me to that, but I'm gonna try. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's dinner. Uh, we're gonna do another dinnerly meal. And you said that one contains chicken, right? Yeah. So, okay. So dinnerly meal, one, success. Tomorrow, success. dinnerly meal, number two. Two. Part two. All right, so now for reals, bye. Bye.